Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts. Thank you for watching this video. Today, I want you to meet my friend, Carlos. Nice Carlos, you. thank you for taking a few minutes my to talk pleasure. to me. Thank you. We're at the International Builder Show in Orlando, uh, Florida. By the way, I like it better in Vegas. There's more restaurants, there's more lodging, but that's for another video. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited because I get a question all the time from people. They say, hey, Jeff, do you guys know of any Smart glass, right? I mean, the way you could call this smart glass. Yes. And these guys do such a terrific job. I said, okay, let's grab the camera. Carlos is going to give us a little tour. Absolutely. And so I hope you enjoy it. So Carlos, Thank you. tell me, what is this right here? So this is our electric switchable privacy glass. It goes okay. from clear to frosted at the flick of the switch. It works with uh, 60 volts. It's an LCD technology. So basically when there is no electricity, it's a frosted glass. When electricity is running through it, it turns clear. Uh, wait, 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 okay, so that's a great yeah. point. So when there's no electricity, Boom, it's frosted. Frosted. Correct. So let's suppose that for some reason something happened and I don't have electricity, I can still take a shower, right? Yes. Or a bath. And you still have privacy, okay. yeah. Okay. No Good. one's going to see I'm you. I'm glad it's not the other way around yeah. where when it fails, everybody's, uh, exactly. not that anybody would watch me take a shower. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so yes. the, the, the LCD, mm -hmm. liquid crystal display, we've all, yes. the world's familiar with that. That's been yes. around a long time. Yes. Proven technology. Yes. And then you've got power, mm -hmm. and then depending on where you put the wires and where you put the power, if I'm Correct. understanding it right. Correct depends on what we get. Well, there's a different couple, there's a different model. So okay. a standard would be a completely clear or completely frosted. So that's going to be your standard when it comes oh, to this type of product. On. Correct. Okay. So then another option is the next generation is where you can have certain patterns, graphics, images, logos, that kind of thing on there as well. So this is going to be like the next generation up, obviously a different price point as well. Right. Okay. So let's say I have a conference room, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we want it to be beautiful and everybody to look in. Right. But if we have a special meeting, I might want to block out two feet of that Correct, glass. or half of it, or whatever. Or if we have a special, like, top secret product exactly. meeting, then exactly. I can block out the whole thing. Exactly right. And when it's not in use, I might have, like, the company logo or something. Exactly right. So it's all, all customizable depending on your preferences, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Right. So you're going to make, like, you're going to make these to order one at a time in most cases. Correct, all custom. All custom sizes, custom custom graphics, everything custom. Okay, so one of the questions people are gonna have, because I know I had it too when I first met you, mm -hmm. was is this a film you put on the inside it's of the a, it's window? It's a great question, yes. It is an LCD film uh -huh. that gets laminated in between two sheets of glass. Okay, so it's not right here. I can't scratch it off. Correct. Okay. So there is a surface applied film, uh -huh. but I always try to deter people from that just for your point exactly. It can be scratched, somebody can use an abrasive cleaner. So I always like to steer people towards the laminated version because it's going to be a lot more durable. What's prevented me from even considering this before is that all the stuff I saw came in sheets. You would cut it. It's yes. like putting on window film. And exactly. I thought, I have wonderful, happy customers. Last thing I want to do is create a problem for exactly. them. Right? Exactly. Right. So right. this solves that problem. Exactly. And if I understand right, um, laminated glass yes. means you have a sheet of glass and another sheet of glass, right? And That's this right. product you make goes between the two. That's right. And then I think, is it thermal? Like, does it get baked in there? Or Correct. You, it okay. goes through a heating process, absolutely, okay. yes. So then you have to have wires on this. Yes. Explain that to me. So going back to my first example, when I was mentioning the, 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 the standard version of uh -huh. a on and off, it's going to have only two wires. Those two wires get tied to a little transformer, okay. and that transformer will then get tied to like a switch on the wall or a remote control. A remote like you have in your hand. Or a remote okay. like that. Uh -huh. Something like this, again, a little bit more complex. This is going to have probably a good 60, 80 wires. Really? Because each segment is uh, powered independently. Okay, so you have like an X and a Y, right? Exactly. If I want to do this, I'm going to need power here, I'm going to need power Correct. there. Correct. If you look really closely, you'll see that there's subtle lines there, and each one of those are powered individually. Okay, I can see that now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not. I mean, not really well. Yeah. I had not. I've been standing here for ten minutes and didn't see that. Yeah. So that's that's the complexity behind this generation is that it requires a lot more wiring because again, you're customizing logos, graphics, or like you said, you want half of it to go on or half of it not to go on. So that all that has to be programmed and housed in there. So if I have this here and I have my wires. Mm -hmm. With this, this one having 60, 70, 80 wires, do I have 80 wires coming out of here? Or is no, it like a basic, process? Or basically, they come all through here and then they uh -huh. get tied into this transformer inside there. So okay. all that is housed in there. But I mean, how many wires do I need? If I have a window, mm -hmm. how many wires are coming out of my window once I put your glass? Just Still two. two. Just two, yeah. Okay, all right. And so there's a, is there a microprocessor? Like if I wanted to change this, I can or can't? After no, that would have to be someone like us to come in and have to reprogram for you if you wanted to change the pattern or change the design or something So like if that. Bank A gets bought out by Bank B, you can come and change it to Bank B or do we have to Correct. remake the whole thing? No, we can come in and reprogram it. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, good deal. Yes. All right, so what people are going to ask, at least I want to know, is 
if I'm just using laminated glass, right, mm -hmm. two pieces of glass, how does that work with other windows? Like, you know, a typical double pane window doesn't just have that one set of glass, it has another Great set question. of glass. Can you guys make that work? Great question. So you have two options there. Depending on how much space you have, you could apply this as what's called secondary glazing or use it to the existing glass okay. as long as you have enough space to fit the overall thickness of or depth of this glass. Ideally, you want to have this as your uh, primary. So you want to replace this with, you want to replace the existing glass with something like this would be the ideal scenario because that's going to give you the best, the best clarity. So if you're in the window business like I am, you can buy your windows from a manufacturer, Anderson, Pella, Middle Guard, whoever and then just tell them I don't want glass, right? Correct. Ship me a frame only, <coughs> excuse me, tell you what glass dimensions we need. Correct. And what we want. And the depth and of the glass. And then you will make it. Correct. Right, so if Very I say to you I need a three quarter inch IGU. Exactly. That's, you're, exactly. you're familiar with that, right? Absolutely, okay. yes. Yeah, okay. we can make this into an IGU as well. So for thermal protection or to keep heat in or out, depending where you are in the country, mm -hmm. you can customize it that way as well. You say heat in or out. We're talking yeah. about low E coatings low now? Low E coatings, okay. correct. All right, yeah. so really anything I can get in a typical window for energy efficiency, I can also get out of this. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, are you limited on some things like, for example, argon gas? Can you put argon in there? You can put argon in there, Okay, yes. I wasn't sure if you hit with the holes, if it's going to escape or how that works. No, with an IGU, you have no holes. It's a completely sealed unit, okay. a hermetically sealed unit. Okay. So, yeah, no problem. What about, do you make a laminated, um, like, impact rated version of this? So that's actually our next step. So okay. in the next three to four weeks, we will have an impact testing on that one. Okay. So that's going to come. And then do you also make tempered? Yes, always. We like to always supply tempered. We don't really like to... So you don't even do a neal glass. This is always going to come? Always going to come tempered, okay. yeah. Is there an option to put this, I mean, in a window, obviously, it's easy. Mm -hmm. Is there an option to put something like this in a door? Yes. Because the door is going to be operable. We actually have had quite a few customers come in and they would buy their doors, same example that you gave, without mm -hmm. the glass, they'll come in, have a glass installer come in and, and glaze this kind of product. How do you the get door. the wiring to the door if the door moves? It's a pre-drilled or electrified hinges you can use. There's different hardware for wow, things like that. I didn't that. know about yeah. that. Okay, so hinge doors I can see. Mm -hmm. Can you do it in a sliding door then? How's that wire gonna move with the door? In my experience, I've seen it in what's called an ICU sliding door, so it's very big in healthcare. Okay. I haven't yet seen it personally in a residential sliding door, um, but I know it can be done. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So what about if I have a double hung window? I understand most people will probably do this in residential, probably right. goes in a bathtub, mm -hmm. right? I mean near a bathtub or right. a bathroom or something. We've had the occasional that wanted in a shower and that kind of thing. Or the shower, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, but if I have a top and a bottom and, and the bottom operates and the top doesn't, how do we do that for wiring? First thing I want to point out is that when you have something, a condition like that, when it's a shower, tub, anywhere there's moisture condensation, all four sides have to be protected. So you have to have something that is gonna be framed on all four sides. Okay, so I should not make an operable window correct. in that situation. In that situation, correct, okay. yeah. So I think I'm almost to the end here. <laughs> on, a, on a shower door, you know, people have tempered shower doors, a lot of them frameless now, they Absolutely. look beautiful. Yep. You're telling me we can put this product on that glass as well? Well, that would be that, it would be that but it would have to be all framed. So it couldn't be frameless in a shower application. Okay, so we need a frame to put it in. Correct. So but you, it can replace that door correct. though, right? It, okay. can, it can be the door, it can replace uh -huh. the door. The only exception is that again, it has to be completely protected from condensation. So wet, I think the term is wet sealed or wet glazed. Okay. Yes. So important that whoever's doing it is qualified. Correct. Right? Yes. <laughs> or that could be that they know They know what they're doing, yes. Okay, absolutely. so yeah. last question I have for you is um, warranty. What kind of assurance do we have as dealers and as consumers absolutely. that this is gonna last and that we're not gonna have to keep replacing it? So it comes with a five-year warranty okay. and it has an 80,000 hour slash 10 year life expectancy. So what that means is that if you left this product on, which is a clear position, continuously, uh, it would equate to about 10 years. Normal usage, you're gonna have some on, some off, so the lifespan should be more than 10 years, but okay. it's a five-year warranty. All right, so that's what I wanted to know. Now, you tell me about the other family of products you have, because there may be somebody out here as a, a sure. window dealer or supplier that's gonna say, what else do these guys do? Absolutely. So run us through that. We got just a couple of minutes, so no run problem, us through that. No problem, no problem. So everything you see here is digitally printed by us. Any custom graphic, image, logo can be printed onto any substrate. You're primarily. talking about this stuff here? Yes, like all this, this stuff you right printed here. printed that? Yep. Okay. All that is all custom. For example, this is printed to look like wood, but it's not actually wood. This what is, is it? This is an acrylic that we've printed onto to make it look like wood. No kidding. Yep. That's uh, cool. So that's our deco, that's our decorative glass or uh -huh. deco blind. And then we also have our between glass blinds product. 
So we have our add-on blinds, so you, if you have a pre-existing door and you don't want to remove the pre-existing glass, this will just snap on over that. Or how, you, now how's the snap on? That's interesting. Yeah. So it's really just more like, I'll show you here. It just goes over the opening just like that, so you can keep your existing glass there. Is there magnets or you screw it on? It's what just a snap. It's like a Lego. It's kind of like, cli it's kind of clips over it. Really? Yeah. That's well, all. That's it's, very, it's very simple installation. So you could take an existing window or door, mm -hmm. if I'm hearing you right, yep. and say, I need blinds here because I need privacy here. Absolutely. I mean, can you make bigger, like for sliding doors? Can you Absolutely. make bigger sizes? Yeah, you can have sizes up to 100 inches tall. Okay, but I am going to lose. I'm gonna lose some glass space, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. These okay. profiles are mandatory. You have to have those there. Because that's where your, your mechanisms are inside of that's there. That's where the components are, yep. Color options for that? About five different color options okay. on there. Okay, probably the most common stuff. Yes. Okay, what's this? And then we have uh, our impact. This is now an insulated unit, so this would consist of two pieces of glass sealed together with a blind inside. Okay. And this has been tested for large missile impact level D and E. So that would consist of like a 916 laminated glass oh. with the airspace and then a 532nd. So that we just recently tested for that, and that's what we're going to do next with the uh, with the Clarity okay. product. So if I'm understanding you correctly, mm -hmm. to this point, it does say patent pending, so congratulations. To this point, you're telling me that people weren't offering blinds between the glass on impact rated products? That's correct. Okay, so we're you're kind of, ones. you're one of the first ones, you the are the first, first one, first one there. The first ones, yep. At least that I'm aware of. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. And, and we, also, we also have the motorized version as well. So the benefit to this motorized version is that it's not hardwired. So basically how this works, you see how it's moving there. Yeah. If I had to take this off, this basically powers the motor that's in here. So this is rechargeable. So you don't need an electrician to install this. And then oh. you have a separate remote, which unfortunately I don't have with me. So if you wanted to control this from a distance, you can control it from a distance as well. And that's just magnetized on there. So it's so, very so simple. So the, the power comes from this unit. Correct. But it's yep. also a switch if I just wanted to walk up to it. Exactly right. Okay. And then you can place this anywhere around the perimeter. Anywhere around the perimeter yep. of the frame? Absolutely. Okay. Could it even be like, does it have to be on a frame or can it be in the wall next to no, it? No, you could wire it anywhere you'd like. As long as, as long as I can run these two wires to the unit. Exactly. I'm good with that. As long as but it's no enough. need to bring an electrician in and spend $800 nope. getting wires put yep. to it. All you got to okay. do is glaze it in and you're set. And is this also like we talked about that stuff? Is it like a three quarter inch? This is custom, all these products are customizable. So as a standard is 532nd tempered glass on both sides, okay. but if you wanted a specific makeup, you can have pretty much anything on so, it. So again, we order a window without a, order window without the glass and then buy this. Correct. Okay, just off the top of your head, how, how wide, how tall can we go? With so this could be somewhere around 60 inches wide by 100 inches tall, okay. as an example. Very, very impressive. So is it really going to be like this narrow? Because on the other, the overlay unit you have, yes. Snap-on, yes. I lost quite a bit of glass on yes. each side. And this one's really this narrow? Yep. On the motorized unit, that's how the profile is because all the components are on the top here. So you notice that the top is a little bit wider. So I'm going to lose some glass here. Correct. But, but, but not that's on up the here. Sides. I mean, that's, Correct. that's not on my line of sight. Exactly. So it, because all the technology is here is why all that's uh, concentrated there. There's nothing on the sides because there's no magnet that needs to operate the blinds on the sides. Okay. So tell me this. Uh, obviously, probably no argon gas in it, right? You can customize it with argon gas and desiccant if it's an exterior application. You can you can uh, also customize it with laminated glass, low E, all really? different. Yeah, lead glass, fire rated glass, all different Where kinds. Where have you been all my window life? <laughs> <laughs> We've been here, yeah. <laughs> waiting for you. See, that's the reason I come to these shows, man. You're always you're always seeing the newest cutting edge. This is kind of like the consumer yeah. electronic show for, for windows, doors, for, for and home and construction stuff. Yes, sir. And that then, terrific. last but not least, we okay. have um, our, our manual version. So this is magnet controlled, similar to the uh -huh. impact that you just saw. Yeah. But this would be like your standard makeup. So you have one magnet that lifts the blinds, okay. and then you have a second magnet that will tilt the blinds here. Okay. Oh, I see. Yep. And uh, back to this one. Yep. So. I see just one operation. How mm -hmm. do I get it to like tilt? So and, you, so you okay. just kind of stop it. Oh, you stop it wherever you want it. Yeah, that's it. And if I keep holding that, then it'll drop down further. Correct. Right? So okay. like if, if if I held this down, uh -huh. the blinds will open and then it'll come down. Okay. So you kind of stop it where you want it to go. And then and then tilt it back up slightly to get the light back there. Exactly. So yep. this really can stop anywhere you want it. Anywhere to. you want it to. Okay. That's right. All right, that's terrific. Yes, hey, thank you've you. answered all the right questions. Appreciate it. Congratulations you. on your My success. My pleasure. Thank you. I'm really glad that we got to meet this guy. If you're looking for a window company near you, contact me, jeffslist.com. Let us help you find somebody. And if you're looking for somebody who distributes this product, then get with me and I'll get with Carlos and we'll try to put the two of you guys together. Thank Thanks you. for watching this video. Have a great day.